I've been invested in the Wilberstead allegations because I find it interesting. Now, in the video I already did, you guys probably noted that I had a very, uh, I had a very neutral tone, had a very neutral tone. And that's for a reason, okay? Now, Twitter didn't quite interpret it that way, and we'll get into that in a minute. But the reason that I had a neutral tone is because to me, when I don't know people personally, when I'm just seeing something out there in the public eye that like I have no, I don't really know these people, you know, at all. When I'm, when I'm seeing something like that, I'm not really inclined to just believe an allegation off the bat with no evidence, right? Allegation are not evidence contrary to what some people may say. I like to see a little shred of proof. Now, testimony, witness testimony is important. And in fact, in a court of law, witness testimony can have an effect on someone's trial. But typically, witness testimony alone is not the only thing that matters. Typically, you need a little more than that. And in the court of public opinion, I like to treat people as innocent until proven guilty. Now, Wilbur Soot didn't do himself any favors. He, 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 he really didn't. Okay, he didn't. The more I think about it... <laughs> The more I realize that uh, his response is pretty bad. It's not an admission of guilt, but it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. If he is innocent, he is the mo one of the most reported innocent people of all time. If he's guilty, then his response actually makes perfect sense. So that's like, that's that's basically your two options, right? That's your two options. <sighs> Where we're sort of cooked. He definitely is cooked right now. Uh, he's he's lost, I'd say, his entire audience. And it's, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to defend a person who won't even defend themselves. It really is. I mean, it, too mad gave a and better defense. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Rest in peace. Um, too bad did not give a better defense. His career is basically over, though. I'd say Wilberson's career is over. I guess we'll do a little bit of a recap, because why not, right? Why not? Why not give a recap of what already happened? Signaling the context squad. Signaling the context squad. Uh, can I get some context, please? Excuse me, sir. Can I please get some? Can I? Can I please get some context? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What is the context of this? Oh wait, check these out. Does this make me swag? I think, I think this, this makes, makes me swag. swag. What do you guys think? Does this make me swag? Does this make me more Ohio? I can actually see pretty perfectly out of these. I feel like I'm more Ohio now. I'm feeling pretty Ohioan. I feel like I'm from Ohio. I feel like I'm from maybe Cincinnati or Cleveland, maybe even Akron. All right, so as this as this excellent tweet from Samuel reads, this excellent tweet from Samuel, always first to the drama, always first to the content, always giving us exactly what we need, okay? Shout out Samuel. Don't get skibbity with it. All right, chat. Let's get skibbity. So baby, crank me closer in the back skibbity toilet. <laughs> to truly understand the Wilberson allegations, we have to go back to where it all began. Samuel tweets out, allegations have come against Wilbur Soot after YouTuber Shovel, ex-partner of Wilbur, spoke about a past partner being abusive towards her. People have jumped to this being about Wilbur due to the violence being described and clips going viral. Thoughts on this? Needed him to really stop biting so hard. I didn't like it and I tried telling him over and over again because he wasn't actually trying at all to not hurt me. Um, but he said he would try at first. And then he started saying things like, it was my pain tolerance that was too low or I'm exaggerating how much it actually hurts. He's not even biting that hard. I'm, I'm being dramatic. Um, but his biting escalated to a point where I was covered in bruises all over my arms and they hurt and he would poke at them for fun. And he even felt so comfortable showing off my bruises that he had caused to our friends. He would even joke that it looked like he abused me. Needed him to really stop biting so hard. I didn't like it and I tried telling him. So I think we get the idea here, okay? She's uh, she's basically saying that Wilbur Soot abused her physically by biting her repeatedly, even though she asked him to stop. She says it happened uh, during sex and, and outside of sex. Apparently this, you know, the guy uh, allegedly is a biter, right? So there's a lot going on here, okay? I covered a lot of this in my first video, but Wilbur ended up responding. Now, make make no mistake, the allegation here is both of emotional and physical abuse. Here's what Wilbur said. In the past week, a series of allegations have been made over my conduct from an ex-girlfriend. I want to emphasize that, although I feel it fair to offer my perspective, this person's feelings are completely valid. This person's feelings are completely valid. Now, I think a lot of people read this as an admission of guilt. I'm not going to say this is an admission of guilt because of the second part. But this is not uh, this is not something you want to say if you're trying to refute allegations. You don't want to say their feelings are valid. You you don't you you do not want to say that. Okay, doesn't that doesn't look good. I've taken my time sharing this statement as I wanted to process and respond respectfully and with the hope to gain a deeper understanding for the situation. During our relationship's final months, I regrettably became slobbish, disrespectful, and selfish. These actions caused a lot of pain to my ex girlfriend, and I've since sought therapy to address these behaviors. Making significant lifestyle changes to rectify my past actions, I've come to realize how much my past behavior hurt this person. But I truly can passionately believe I've made great strides for the person I once was and hope I can continue to grow and improve on this trajectory. The allegation of abuse, particularly in the form of biting, deeply shocked me. Throughout our relationship, I understood from our numerous conversations and text messages exchanges on the subject that this behavior was consensual, playful, and reciprocally enjoyed. I truly believe those personal exchanges reflect mutual affection and understanding. Out of respect for her, I choose not to publish them and I emphasize my perspective is not shared to diminish or invalidate anyone's feelings. The fact that he can say this, he can 
type this on the internet and he can't put a screenshot is uh insane can you guys can, can you guys agree that it's insane if he is innocent this is the most retarded thing you could possibly say this is so fucking stupid if he is innocent th this is the worst thing he could have said but he here he says the allegation of abuse is bad and he says he has proof he has proof that she's lying but he doesn't he doesn't post it. He doesn't post it. Why? I do not know. Why would he even say that and not post it out of respect for her? You're already saying that she lied about the abuse allegation. Like you're all you're already saying that she lied about you being an abuser. You've already disrespected her. Why not post it? And if you believe you're being falsely accused, then why would you not post the goddamn text message, bro? <laughs> Maybe he's lawyering up. Um, maybe. But if he is, why even make this post if he's lawyering up? This didn't help. If he was lawyering up, he would say something to the effect of, I'm lawyering up. I'm going to not talk about this right now. There's going to be a legal proceeding. That's what he would say. But he didn't say that. He didn't. So I have no, I have no impression. I have literally no impression that that's going on. These DMs are Schrodinger's DMs right now. Either they don't exist or they do exist. And for some nebulous reason, he won't post them. Whatever the case, he completely destroys himself by not showing that. Have you seen the George Not Found drama? No, I haven't. And if you look at this, I mean, 58,000 likes, 35,000 quote tweets, and 21,000 replies. 21,000 replies. With the top reply being from Dream, who ratioed him. Dream ratioed Wilbur Soot. Dream the guy who has been at the center of some of the biggest false allegations of last year thinks this guy is guilty. Now, you can take that two ways. You can take that as, on one hand, on one hand, Dream is being a hypocrite, okay? He is he is going along with false allegations when he himself isn't falsely accused on limited information, right? You can take it that way. Or, for some reason, Dream thinks this guy is guilty. For some reason, Dream is convinced that this guy is guilty, okay? These are the two options. Uh... I don't know which one I want to go for, but uh, I don't think this looks good. And I think Dream is smarter. Is I think I think Dream is is smarter than we give him credit for. And I think that he wouldn't say something like this without good reason. Now I'm not saying I'm not saying that there's evidence. <laughs> I'm not saying there's evidence that Dream is falsely accusing this person. I'm not saying that there's enough evidence for me to say that Wilbur Soot is an abuser. So a lot of people are saying rapist, which is not even the allegation, but biter, right? Evil biter. I'm not saying that there's any evidence of that. What I am saying is that for some reason, this massive YouTuber who just handled his own allegations very well, may I say, said this for some reason. I don't know why, but it, it just, it, it reads as weird to me. I feel like there's something missing here that I don't know. I feel like this was like an allegation that privately was floating around behind the scenes for a while and we're only just finding out about it. That's, that's, that's what, that's what my, my gut is telling me. But at the end of the day, I want more evidence. Okay, I, I do. Let's actually dream. Let's actually read what Dream said though. She said she withdrew consent using a safe word and that you frequently would intentionally bite down harder afterward to the point where the, to the point that she would scream Even isolated from everything else that is clearly abuse while reading this I was waiting to see you talk about that issue to say anything at all only to finish reading and find out that you didn't acknowledge it once I really don't understand how you thought this was accountability or an apology or even an informative statement Well, that's the thing Wilbur didn't get very specific did he he was very nebulous This did serve as confirmation. She was talking about you, which i'm glad to have Wilbur you take accountability for, you take accountability for being slobbish disrespectful and selfish, and it seems those are the things you acknowledge as past problems, while overshadowing the physically abusive actions and claiming to be completely reformed now. You seem to truly think you did nothing abusive and this statement is built on that foundation. You are being dishonest with yourself or dishonest with us or both. You describe these acts as consensual without refuting her complete revocation of consent through your agreed upon safe word. A word set with the purpose of explicitly ending consent. She trusted you with the safe word as a boundary. You shattered that trust. Therapy won't help if you seriously describe your abusive actions as playful, affectionate, or especially consensual. Your therapist can't read your mind and know you're being dishonest. Shelby was afraid to say your name due to your dedicated audience, and this wasn't acknowledged either. As someone who at times shared an audience with you, this is severely disappointing. <coughs> I don't really get this last part. She's afraid to see her name to your dedicated audience and this wasn't acknowledged either. Why, do, why does he have to acknowledge that? I don't really get that. I don't really see it. I don't really understand. Am I, am I dumb? Am I stupid? Do I need to stick out? You look like a pickled onion. <laughs> you look like a pickled onion. True. And Bart Simpson. And Sid from Toy Story. She had reason to be afraid to say your name, but you shouldn't have been afraid to say hers. Shelby, I'm sorry you had to go through this. I'm sorry that you felt scared about public support. And I hope this gives you some hope that the world overall is full of good people. Well, <coughs> Obviously, the reason why maybe he wouldn't want to say hers is because he doesn't want to send her harassment if we're giving him charitability, right? If we don't want to give him charitability, it's because he doesn't want to give attention to the allegation, right? When Shido says you say oof when you fall, is it a swastika on your shirt? Yeah, this is a giant swastika. Um, I'm sorry that you will forever be affected by this. 
As a victim of domestic violence, I was scared to ever speak out. In fear of not being taken seriously or believed, it's incredibly encouraging to see so many people express support and uplift your story and message, and I believe this can help prevent many future situations like yours. I'm sorry if any events involving me or my audience in the past contributed at all to your anxiousness about coming forward in this community, and I hope this serves as a reminder to everybody that at the end of the day, the community and creators are united when it comes to the most important things. The truth, what's right and wrong, speaking for those who can't, uplifting the voices of those that might otherwise go unheard, standing up for what is right, and speaking against those that do wrong. <coughs> your story you told will help so many young people see signs of toxicity and abuse before it's too late for them. Thank you for being brave. Thank you for being brave. Now it's, 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 it's possible. It's possible. The dream is being, you know, speaking out of turn here, but it's also possible. Honestly, <laughs> Turkey Tom looks like he eats sheet metal. You're going to get waves. Yeah. Are you what they consider a short stack goblin? I am. Um, <laughs> you guys man i need to drink more water but regardless of that regardless of that i think that uh i think that wilbur's response here gives you two options like i said earlier it gives you the option that either he is the most innocent person of all time which given he is a extremely popular public figure who seemingly should be understanding allegations i think is unlikely but possible it is possible and you have to acknowledge that it is possible or he's guilty and this is the statement of a guilty man in which case a guilty person would make this statement right <laughs> they would like that would make sense. So I don't know. I don't know. This is a tough one. Um, my <coughs> my neutrality, which I aim to maintain, is being tested. Is being very tested. But he's innocent. I don't know if he's innocent. I don't. I'm. I don't know that. Now, following this, a lot of drama happened on Twitter, which I will get into. But there's new allegations about Wilbur as well from a new girl. This girl is uh, Alice Nyanya. Bro, the names are a bit dark. Tom, your fruity face, cute petite eyes, and homosexual hair, soot-ridden lung remind me of my coworker. It's like I have a piece of you when I go out and grind. By the way, he's 59 years old. Thanks for comparing me to a 60-year-old gay man. <laughs> anyway, Alice Nya Nya uh, made this post. These past years have been difficult, but I finally feel safe enough to speak out about my experience with Wilbur. Here we have them together. I mean, is it out of turn to say that, that uh, I don't know, she's cute, whatever. Anyway, moving on, <laughs> moving on. Hello, I'm Alice. I dated Wilbur back in 2019, and I want to speak out about my experience. I feel like I couldn't talk about this sooner because I was scared of his public influence and the potential backlash from fans. But now after hearing Shelby's story, seeing the support she's been shown, and admiring her bravery, I finally feel safe to break my silence on our relationship. Back in 2019, at the beginning of the relationship, I was immediately shown a lot of affection, very reminiscent of love bombing. So I guess this would be consistent with the other allegation. One of his close friends at the time warned me in confidence to be careful, as if they had seen people get hurt in the past, but I believed he was good inside. After a month, the honeymoon period was over, and it was like I was dating a completely different person. I was told to keep our relationship a secret, but was framed in a way that implied that it was for my safety, as if it was in my best interest to keep this secret despite my own feelings i believe that he enjoyed having control in the relationship now in fairness i don't listen i don't think there's anything wrong with the guy who is famous wanting to keep the relationship private for the sake of the girl i mean people are weird on the internet they look into your relationship they speculate in your sex life they'll harass you like i think it's i think that i think it's perfectly valid to not want the relationship to be public from his perspective there are plenty of reasons why <laughs> he wouldn't want it to be public that have nothing to do with him being evil right in my in, in my opinion in my opinion which is correct because i'm me um i mean for example for example okay there have been a lot of cases where public relationships have not been healthy for the relationship in fact it's been very negative <laughs> Social repose. If you had a partner, would you keep it private in the future? Yeah, probably. I would imagine. I would have to hide as he streamed and sit silently in the corner of his room waiting for him to go offline. I don't I don't really care about that, honestly. This is kind of a nothing. He would say condescending things to me about my interests and the type of content I created is if he just didn't take it or me seriously and would only be enthusiastic about his future plans with music and desire for fame. Not that important. Like, I don't know. There are cool women out there, but the things that women are into are like, dude. Maybe if you were into Lego sets, I'd want to listen to you. Maybe. Maybe if you were into Skibbity Toilet, I'd want to talk to you more. But instead, you like, I don't know, Mitski or something. What's the girl? <laughs> What's the girl that's like annoying? Melanie Martinez. Yeah, women like Melanie Martinez. Like, dude, I'm sorry. I don't want to listen to you talk about that. I'm sorry. My bad. I never felt like he was encouraging towards me or any of my goals. In the last few months, he made me feel extremely unlovable and unwanted. I had suffered with self-harm tendencies in 2019. He ignored the marks on my body and only took interest in retelling his own life struggles. I also experienced the biting habit, which has only been elaborated on by Shelby. After a while, I noticed that it was always me putting in the effort into the relationship, so I decided one day to not be the one to message first, just to see what would happen. And he never spoke to me again, so the relationship dissolved. Damn. Sigma male behavior. 
Skipping ahead to 2021, we had briefly spoken over an Instagram DM about the relationship and meeting up for closure and how things went in 2019. I gave him a second chance and met up hoping to get some answers. We walked through densely populated areas of town where we got stopped multiple times by his fans. In hindsight, this felt very intentional, almost as if it was to flaunt his influence and desirability to me. I mean, I feel like this is dumb. This is a little dumb. Like, whoa, he wants to be desirable to a girl he likes? Oh, we don't know if that's true, but even if that is the case, like, I don't know, girls like famous guys sometimes. We went to the bar and he proceeded to get me very drunk. Now, when she says get me very drunk, that could be bad. He got us an, an Uber back to his house and ended up blacking out in his bed due to the alcohol. But the last thing I remember was him non-consensually removing my clothes. Oh, Wilbur. <clears throat> What's going on, big guy? Was he drunk or not? I mean, whether he was drunk or not, uh, non-consensually removing clothes is not good, okay? If that's real, that's not good. If she's like, if you're with a girl and she's like passed out or she's like super drunk and doesn't really know what's going on and you're taking her clothes off, uh, that's not good. That's not good. If it's true, I don't know if it's true, but it's an allegation. It's an allegation, okay? For all legal purposes, for my own purposes, because I, you know, innocent until proven guilty. I don't have any evidence for this other than the fact that there's pictures of them together, which I guess shows they were together at one point. But, uh, oh, this one, if that's real, that's indefensible. Okay. The next morning, he proceeded to tell me that I must be a lesbian because I wasn't interested in him. <laughs> Dude, stop. These past years have been extremely difficult to navigate because of this. I couldn't go online without seeing him everywhere and being adored as the soft boy who heroically respects women and mental health issues. I couldn't even go to conventions and enjoy my own hobbies without seeing people dressed up as him. Now, what does that even mean? The, uh, just dressing up as a, as a, as a man? <laughs> oh, so like, oh, so this dude, dude, why? Why would you do that? Oh, they're all on Reddit. I like that every single one of these is on Reddit. Cause of course it is on Reddit, dude, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dark. This is dark. This is very dark. Tumblr cosplayer. Yeah. These are like new age Tumblr kids, basically. Uh, man, I know a lot of these are maybe they're children or something, but man, this one has a has a, a steampunk crossbow. Steampunk crossbow. So awesome. Dude. I love my steampunk girlfriend. Me and my steampunk girlfriend went to the store today and bought diapers. Cause I bought an oxabot. Like, was this really was this really necessary? Whoever you are, was this necessary? Well now you've got egg on your face, because it turns out he was a steampunk biter, allegedly. <laughs> that looks like you. F you. Base. Newest allegation are that he is Tom's barber. Off. And Andrew off. <laughs> I feel like Asmund Gold right now. <laughs> Tom, why can't I become a member on mobile? I want to give you money. I don't know. It's not my fault. Wilbur is a cereal graper. The proof is in the ants. And there's one, two, three, four, five ants. Based. First, Tom, sorry, I almost lost my streak. My bank account got compromised. Second, all the Dream SP people are just so cancer. True. Kicks Mechanics says, about a year ago, I made fun of your prepubescent voice in N64 commentary videos. This was your first live stream since then. You've been become a strong commentary creator. You're now one of my favorite creators. Well, thank you. Women do this and wonder why every religion and civilization in history restricted their rights. Yeah, I mean, as far as the cosplay, yeah, I'm on, I'm on the, uh, I'm on your side with everybody. I'm on your side with that one. How can you deny it? Simply, how can you deny it? Um, so she made this statement. I mean, 100,000 likes. If that's true, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Like, there's no defending that if this is true, right? I don't, I don't think, I don't think there's any defense we can give if it's true. And he hasn't responded at all. He hasn't said anything about it. Now, she did say, she did say here, thank you all for the incredible amount of support. I was so anxious to tell my story, but I'm so relieved I did. If YouTube news channels monetize off my trauma, I'm a be angry emoji. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. What did you expect? You made a public allegation. You expect people to not want to talk about it. And on top of that, if you want people to talk about your allegation, if you want this supposed abuser who, I mean, in your mind is potentially a rapist, okay? If you want this guy to get on, if you want there to be no other victims, it is in your best interest for everyone to talk about it. Or is the real problem that uh, people might criticize your allegation? I don't know. And and I mean, that, that could be it. I don't know. Once again, I'm not saying this girl is lying. She could be telling the truth. In fact, at this point, given everything that's gone on, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, chat. I don't know. I'm not saying he's guilty. I'm not saying he's innocent. <sighs> it seems a little bit weird. It seems a little bit weird. One allegation. I don't know. Two allegations getting a little bit worse. Okay. I'm not saying that they are telling the truth just because there's multiple allegations. Doesn't mean someone's guilty. There can be multiple false allegations. It's very possible, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying he's a sussy baka. True. Wilbur took biting people's style a little bit too seriously. <laughs> 
Why are you wearing a Minecraft leather helm? Dude, it's based. You guys like this? I miss the rage. <laughs> Say the N-word real quick. The world is at stake. Mrs. Obama, get down. Waking up to so much support was a little overwhelming. Thank you for your kind messages. I feel so hurt. I'm going to take some time to be myself and be offline. If you'd like to support my creative efforts. Oh, man. If you're, look, I'm not saying she's lying, but if you're making an allegation, this doesn't, uh, this doesn't look good, dude. This doesn't look good. I'm just saying, like, thanks for checking out my allegation. Now check out my OnlyFans or whatever. Like, I don't know. This isn't an OnlyFans, by the way. It's YouTube. I'm just saying, though. She could very well, she could very well be telling the truth here. She could be. I don't, I don't want to say she's, she's lying. I don't want to say that. I'm not going to say it. It's possible. How much do you weigh? Uh, 101, 181 pounds as of yesterday. Okay. <sighs> now there's another statement from Shovel that's also come out. Here we have her account. Uh, I see why Wilbur liked her. She hit a million subs. Congrats. Here we have, thank you for listening. I think, yeah, this is her statement afterwards. I've thought a lot about what I would say when I came back. Firstly, I want to say the biggest thank you to everyone showing their support. I've never felt so loved and cared for, and I've never seen so many communities come together to have somebody's back like this. I'm so proud of everyone taking such a powerful stance against these actions. I never could have imagined this response. Well, I didn't do this for myself, through sharing my story, I have healed more parts of myself. I had no idea we're still pained. I'd like to address the apology. Quite frankly, I've never seen an apology so self-centered. It seems to purposely misconstrue the issue I very clearly laid out. My issue was not with being bit. It was with being hurt. And to vaguely apologize for any hurt while knowing we needed a safe word because I was being hurt so often by accident and I continue to be hurt daily is incredibly disrespectful. But not more disrespectful than e not even saying my name. I believe I'm referred to as ex-girlfriend, so if you don't know who he's talking about, you might not find out what he did. This is not how you take accountability. Well, she didn't say his name either, so I don't, I don't know. This point is kind of whatever. The rest of it seems fine, but this point is like, I don't know. Not only are there no DMs where whatsoever where it is expressed that I enjoy being hurt by my partner, to imply there was consent in text over an issue that entirely happened in person, where every conversation about it happened in person is ridiculous. Now, this is actually a good rebuttal, because he's saying, well, there was consent given over text. She's saying, well, all of this happened in person anyway, so it doesn't really matter. If I did consent at one point, I revoked it later on. On, you know, he knows how often I asked for him to stop hurting me that I didn't like it and that I didn't like being covered in bruises all the time Entirely why he switched to biting my legs so no one would think I looked abused But he continued to hurt me. He didn't take my pleas for it to stop seriously or he didn't hear them at all I felt lost for so long truly losing myself in the relationship I abandoned my personal morals neglected friends and I lied for this person with every time I spoke up being ignored I shrank I lost my fight I stayed locked in my house I had no key for and didn't even try to leave anymore. People ask why we stay, and it's so hard to explain ourselves because we've abandoned all our reasoning. I wasn't safe anymore with this person, but I couldn't see that. I loved him, and he told me he'd try to stop hurting me. I'm deeply saddened by how many more friends were hurt by his actions, but I'm so thankful to everyone doing the absolute most and making sure I've been okay over the last few days. Thank you to everyone who's reached out to me. Thank you to hashtag shovel support squad. Every day I read your messages and see your art, and it makes me feel like the bravest girl in the world. I think the good that comes out of victims sharing their experiences so others can learn and avoid similar pain or come the terms with ways they were mistreated is the most important thing in this moment. You cannot treat people this way without consequence. You cannot pretend you don't know the harm you cause. You cannot pretend going to therapy fixes all past mistakes. All of the love that's been shared for me over the years is with is for every victim of abuse. Sorry, all of the love that's been shared with me over the past few days is for every victim of abuse. Our lives are forever changed by these experiences. I now struggle with memory problems and extreme anxiety, and it may be a while before I feel fully like myself, whoever she is. But I know I have my spark back. Please remember how brave and strong you are. We shouldn't be expected to be silent when we're mistreated. So that's her final statement. That's her final statement on that. Honestly, with every day that passes, the chance that Wilbur could even remotely come back from this is uh, is diminished by a lot, exponentially even. <laughs> Thank you, Caveman Crafts. I'm not fixing the haircut. It's staying. I think, okay, and this is my real, this is my real perspective, okay? The haircut, did I intend for it to look this way? No, I didn't. Here are the, uh, here are the benefits to the haircut, okay? And this is, I'm kind of pulling this out of my ass, but maybe it's real. For one thing, there's this portion of the audience, okay? There's this portion of the audience that you guys have probably seen that are women who only watch me because they find me attractive. In my opinion, now that I am less attractive, I hope these people off and stop watching me because they're cancerous okay i'm not your pookie bear i'm not your pookie bear i'm not your internet boyfriend i am now a 40 year old fugly father and you will respect that okay those women do not exist dude look at chat it is crazy sometimes okay after the shirtless stream okay you guys remember the shirtless stream on mama max the chat was filled with he's so puppy coated he's my pookie bear this is crazy okay if you want to watch me cool if you want to think i'm attractive cool I don't want that to be the reason people watch me. I prefer that, okay? I, I prefer that that is not the case. So now that I look like a joke and I'm a 
meme, maybe you'll actually have to listen to what I say instead of listening to me softly breathe into the microphone and imagining me giving you back shots, okay? That's the benefit. <laughs> that's the benefit. Genuinely, that is the benefit. And I think that's actually valid. <sighs> All the time edits on TikTok, dude, I know. I know. Anyway. So that about wraps up the Wilbur allegations themselves. Now we're going to take a look at the George Not Found allegations because he's been accused as well. All of the Minecraft YouTubers are, are being, they're being come for, dude. <coughs> they are being come for. They're being come on even. They're being came in the mouth of. All the Minecraft YouTubers are being just epically owned. Here we go. George Not Found, this guy, you guys probably know him. I honestly thought this guy was Sapnap for a while because they just kind of look the same. George Not Found posts, I will be doing a very serious stream later today. This post is just to make that clear. I'm gathering all the information and evidence to share. I have never and would never break someone's sexual boundaries or assault anyone. I saw how you ruined my friend's life. Nobody should feel sympathy in whatever lies you're about to spell with your stupid PR team backing you, you buffoon. Silence is not a yes. Silence is not consent. It will never be consent. And I think this is I think this is the problem. You went from looking like a basement dweller to look having to notify your neighbors when you move. Yeah, I sort of do look like a uh I'm aware of the fact that I sort of look like a version of the Tom from Succession. Silence will never be consent. You're an awful human being and you make me sick to my stomach. I hope you lose your platform because people like you do not lose do not deserve a platform. Now, I I don't know how much evidence there is for this. I don't know how much evidence there is for this, but can somebody tell me where this allegation came from in the first place? Because all the comments are just calling him guilty right off the bat. And this is always the problem with the Minecraft community. Like, even if Wilbur Soot deserves what's getting to him, or sorry, deserves what's coming to him and deserves the criticism, the Minecraft community is just so insufferable that nobody wants to listen to them because they're so stupid and jump to giant, crazy conclusions. Some random stream. Where can I find this stream? George Not Found is getting canceled. This is old. This is old. This is a stream, like me. Where do I find this? Another plane is at the Pentagon. Next stream. I don't want to watch another stream. What's good, Tom? Where would be the bus station? Send it. Just tweeted at me. Can we go back to bald, Tom? If this channel hits a million subscribers, I will shave my head. I'll do it. And I'll shave my face, too, so I look like a scrotum. Actually, I'm not going to shave my face. I'm going to have a beard if I have to shave my head. You got to give me that. You stole my little ooky? I'm your ooky? What the f*** is an ooky? I thought it was pookie. What is an ooky? Dude, the most, the most insufferable thing women say. Oh, my God! When girls say purple and say I'm EP, it takes seven seconds to choke someone out. Did you know that? I'm just saying. It takes seven seconds to be unconscious, okay? It takes seven seconds. And I'm not saying I would do that, but I'm just saying you should keep that in mind when you say something stupid like EP or purple. Use your brain, okay? I've been going to the gym. I have been working out expressly for the purpose of when a woman says that she's EP and I get her. I'm just kidding. That's ironic. Calm down, Pookie Bear. I'm not calming down. When is your Destiny documentary coming out? The 19th. 10 days-ish. Where the f*** are the allegations? Of course not found. What if they are drunk and don't know what they're doing? So when he dismissed his comment, now it's come out. He essayed someone who was freshly 18 and far too drunk to consent. Yeah, George not found. I hope nothing but the worst for you. While they're dancing and then them act like they don't see him and him continue. This is him with the Raj guy and Cutie Cinderella. To try to like yeah, that's that shimmy. That brother's starving. Around. He's already yeah. and he, like, he's cooked. What if they're just drunk and the, they don't know what they're doing? Are you trying? Uh, look, I just think. Wait, hold on. Like, he's cooked. What if they're just drunk and the. Ooh. To try to like, yeah, that's that yeah. Jimmy. That brother's starving. Around. He's already. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. While they're dancing and then them act like they don't see him and him continue to try to like, yeah, that's that yeah. Jimmy. That brother's starving. Around. He's already. Yeah. And he, like, he's cooked. What if they're just drunk? I don't know what they're doing. Are you trying? Uh, look, I just think they react like he just says something. Up. I'm gonna side with Will here and say just treat men or women just like normal. Here. I don't, I don't understand. You should shave your eyebrows next. Based uh, Maple Mapley Paw has all the info. <coughs> Mapley Paw has all the info. Okay, Mapley Paw, inform me. Oh, Katie Bugs. Katie Bugs is the is the girl. Okay, my story by Katie Bugs. Here we have her. My story by Katie Bugs. We have the allegations, so we can review it live. We can discover what happened. We can discover what went on. I do kind of look like Bart Simpson. That's kind of epic, though. We're going to watch her allegation. This is half an hour. Same length as the shovel one, actually, pretty much. Hello. Hi, mods. Mods, hi. I love you guys. Dude. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Me when the Discord server got shut down. Hi, mods. I love you guys. Bruh. Oh, my God. When are we going to get into this? I apologize. <laughs> Is your Discord coming back up? Never. Never. Dude, the Discord server? <laughs> Such a mistake. Less than three. My content brain, my, my Zoomer content brain, <laughs> won't allow anyone to sit <laughs> in silence for more than five seconds before I have to click off. Start a fake crying? I think it's probably real crying. We don't... 
listen, listen. I'm not saying believe all victims, but I'm not saying call them liars always either, okay? She could be telling the truth. <laughs> she could be. And I don't even know what she said yet. I won't have um the chat on the screen because I can't read it right now. I also... <laughs> I was watching an old video of yours and you were like, Discord will be back in a week. That didn't happen. By a week, I meant never. Tom said we gotta put his bike helmet on and say safety first. Owned. Dude, the Discord, the Discord situation was so cancer, okay? Here's what happened with the Discord. I'll go over it really briefly, and then we're gonna keep watching this, because I don't want to sidetrack myself too much. Can we hit a Joseph Rogan? Okay. Um, the deal with the Discord was that one day I was streaming, and this guy called, uh, <coughs> it was like Meow? Oh, Mrow. M-R-O-W. Mrow, okay? With the cat profile picture. He's a YouTuber. He was one of the admins, I think. He calls into the stream. He says, hey, there's this guy who's like a creepy on the server and i was like oh did you ban him he was like well no we thought it was funny to keep him around so we could bully him and i was like what the fuck is wrong with you and then i was arguing with a bunch of lollicons on twitter at the time so they started lying saying that i was harboring a discord of files when i didn't even know about it dr pepper yeah that was the guy that was the alleged file okay so that was just like cancer that was just cancer to deal with thought it was funny i mean files can be funny to bully but like i don't want them in my youtube discord like what the is wrong with you this guy this guy pissed me the f off so bad you could see me on stream you could see the steam coming out of my f ears because i was so mad and nobody on the mod team could give me an answer for why this guy was still around or what was going on or what happened okay so i was like f this i'm wiping it i'm not dealing with this i got rid of all of them i banned dr pepper obviously and the girl uh, involved eventually the girl messaged me and she said that she was groomed i was like okay what happened she's like well i was 16 and he was 18 and i was like I'm sorry, that's not, I don't think that's grooming. So it, like it was, but like this whole thing could have just been avoided if there was any communication, okay? And I had a rule in the server the whole time because I didn't want to deal with this stuff, which was no e-dating or flirting in the server, okay? Because I don't want to deal with you people. I don't want to deal with you sexting and flirting and the problems that come with that. Come to the Turkey Tom Discord to post edgy memes or talk about YouTube drama. Not to goon, no gooning! For some incomprehensible reason, this guy was still around. Okay, and I don't really have hard feelings about it anymore, but I do. Uh, I, I do a little bit. A little bit from Rao in particular. That was silly. That was dumb. Um, I didn't like that. And so, like, I just, I just, it wasn't worth dealing with. It wasn't worth dealing with, honestly. Oh, Turkey Thomas, you bulging Bulgarian beast? Dude. It just wasn't worth dealing with the drama, okay? From the lollicons calling me a harbor of files because, oh, the anti-lollicons are the real files obviously that's their argument right that was annoying and it was like it was like blowing up on twitter people still say this to this day with no evidence whatsoever they say this she has i will cancel you after we break up physiognomy i swear they all look like this uh i disagree i mean to be honest with you dude this is just how every girl who's like around my age looks okay and i'm fine with it um i love your show i miss augie rest in peace got hit by a uh got hit by an armored car he was just on his way. He was just on his way to the bank, you know? The bank said he had too much money. The bank said, the bank gave Augie a call. It was pretty dark. They said, hey, Augie, listen, man, we love having you as a customer, but you've got too much money. Your bank account is full. You need to get a new bank. So he was on his way to the new bank. Armored car smacked him, okay? They were robbing, they were robbing a Chick-fil-A <laughs> and it smacked him in the head and he died. It's sad. Time for getting EP. You wish. How's life as a gay icon? Miserable? End off. I'll be alert. Chad is a little so cancer, like okay? Talk. Listen, just because she's crying doesn't mean it's fake crying. Just because she's telling a story about what happened doesn't mean she's lying, okay? Even if she doesn't have evidence, that doesn't mean she's lying. It just it just means you should maintain neutrality. It, it doesn't mean you should go on the complete opposite side of the spectrum and say that she's lying, okay? I'm sorry. So thanks for the two, banana. I didn't think I would cry. Um, <laughs> funny enough, I wrote, I wrote it down because I didn't think... <laughs> Don't say I thought e or I wouldn't have anything to say. Ever. <laughs> You know, I thought I'd freeze up when I went live, which I kind of have, but I didn't think I'd cry. Um, I wrote down what I want to say on stream today. I hope that's okay. Um, because I get really anxious when talking about important things and I don't want to miss say anything. And <coughs> I want... So basically this, this girl, sure all these girls are coming out because of the, or say all of these, after the shovel thing. Apparently, there's a bunch of allegations of relationship stuff floating around in the background that we just didn't know about. And now, because of what Shovel said, multiple of them are coming out. So this is probably not going to be the last time we hear some kind of story, right? This is probably not going to be the last Minecraft YouTuber who gets accused. Um, <laughs> and I knew I wouldn't be able to talk properly. So, 
I probably won't, I again apologize, I probably won't look up um, during the stream. I'll be reading on my phone, um, but I wanted to read this instead of <coughs> tweet it because I wanted it to come from me. And I want you guys to hear it from right. me. You're so skibbity, you're so phantom sex. I just want to be your allegation. Oh my god. Hassan would have left the video running, not base. I know, I'm letting him down, dude. I'm really letting him down. All right, we'll keep watching. My bad. It's really hard for me to talk about, but I- But if I just like start calling chat Obama, <laughs> that'll be based. It's important for other people to hear it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be smiling during this. I'm laughing at chat. I'm not laughing at her, okay? The laughing allegations are unsubstantiated. I'm scared. <laughs> Imagine if Tom got a low taper fade. I'm gonna start reading. Shit, I, <laughs> I look a fucking mess. <clears throat> um, okay. I want to start this by saying I wouldn't be here without Shelby. I was ready What'd to I disappear say? with this secret forever. I never knew that creators were allowed to talk about these kinds of things. And I guess I'm still new to it all. I just didn't feel brave enough. And I still don't. But her strength made me feel like it may be okay. <sighs> A little while ago, <coughs> my story had almost been leaked without me knowing. So here it is on my terms. Here is my story. Last year, at the beginning of summer, I was assaulted by a significantly <coughs> older and popular content creator. I was freshly... Uh, how old is George not found? He's 27? This nibba is 30. I thought he was like, I don't know, 22, maybe? Bro is up there. Bro is up there. And she's, I guess, not, she's 19 now. She was 18 then. 18, and had just graduated high school a few weeks prior. I was drunk in a hotel room with other people around me when it happened. He was someone I had once, and he was eight years older than me. She's crying, Jesus. I'm so proud of you and your bravery. Is George like 17? No, he's, uh, it says 27. It's quite short. It was at a convention in a hotel room. It was my first convention I was invited to, so I stuck by one of my best friends the entire time. I was nervous but excited about it all and felt really grown up. One night, we were at a house party when we decided to leave. It was me, my best friend, and her other friend. <laughs> His other friend was romantically talking to a really big creator at the time. He was also the best friend of my soon-to-be assaulter. She wanted to go back to his hotel room, but didn't Yeah, Briz, this is, uh, this is about George not found. He has said he will be doing a stream to respond. <laughs> So that should be interesting. So we went with her. I didn't really mind as I was up for anything. When we got to the hotel room. She did say she was, uh, she was, <clears throat> she was directly inspired by Shelby Shovel. <coughs> Shelby Shovel. I want to make it clear. Although I was inspired by Shelby, our abuser is not the same. I hope she can take the time to heal. I hope everyone can. So there you go with that. It was the creator, the girl was talking to, and his best friend. The two of them and the three of us. Not much happened that first night. Just some drinking and talking at a table. The guy's friend had been passing flirts at me the entire night, but because he was the oldest in the room, we assumed he didn't know my age. Later that night, when I left, I received- Was this girl, is she a content creator? That's a great question. She is a content creator. Her name is Katie Bugs. Uh, you can see her right here. She's 19. Ugh. Uh... And she has all this stuff. She has a YouTube with 60,000 subs. So I'd say probably a small content creator, right? Have you ever wished to fill out the shape? Kind of like sharpen the edges? Okay. Girl stuff. And in my Instagram bio, in bold, was my age, 18, confirming he knew how old I was. A few days passed when I found myself in the sim same situation. Us three were at a party when it got boring, <coughs> and whether the girl wanted to leave and go to his room, or he asked us who I cannot remember. Once again, I was drunker than the night before and was willing to go anywhere. I was naive, and so we went back. I remember a friend seeing me in the lock on the way. They were worried by the way I was acting and asked if I was okay. I was really drunk and it was an eerie feeling like they could sense something was wrong. And I wonder what would have happened if I had picked up on it and if I wasn't drunk and if I didn't wave it off. But I don't want to dwell on the what ifs. That night, I went up to his room. Back at the hotel. So now dating, so now dating 18 year olds at 26 is predatory? Is this about Wilbur? <laughs> this is about uh, George not found. I mean, I don't know if it's predatory. I don't know if that's the right word, but all I'll say is like 18 year olds are kind of I don't know why when you're 26, you'd want to engage with one because they're literally impossible. Unless you're just trying to f them, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't know. Drinking at 18 is not that bad. I mean, I did it. You know, people uh, gave people who were over the age of 21 gave me alcohol until I was 21. I don't really have a problem with them. Let me get this straight. She dated or had an encounter with George at 26. That's weird. It's not illegal, but that's some quagmire creepy. Sh well, I don't think the allegation is about grooming. I think there's something else here. <coughs> 
She is saying that she was uh she was like young, so it it sucked more. But I don't think she's saying he's a file or anything. Tell room again where the two friends and us three girls. Be real. These seem like fake tears. I don't think they seem like fake tears. Thomas found dead in the streets of Bulgaria. Aren't you 21? I am 21. And until I was 21, uh, people bought me alcohol and I don't really fault them for that. I'm at the time, all of us girls were already really drunk from the party we were coming from, stumbling and everything. There was more alcohol in the room and we were encouraged to drink some more as they offered the bottles to us. They said they would join us in drinking and insisted on drinking games and already drunk. I obviously- Yeah, I mean, Briz, I would agree like, uh, <laughs> it is weird personally. It's kind of the boogie issue where like boogies 48 dating like a 20 year old like it's not illegal you can't really say he's a file you can't say that he's not but it's just like what are you doing what are you doing big guy but i mean if, if we're to believe that 18 year olds can consent to sex then like you can't really have a problem with an 18 year old like sleeping with like a 26 year old like if we're if we if we draw a line in the sand like when you're 18 you can consent and they choose to consent to have sex with someone who's 26 like you have to draw a line in the sand somewhere you can't really have a problem with that i would honestly i would honestly say that dating one is weirder than just one um because if you're them it's just the physical attraction but if you're dating them it's like you have to spend all day with an 18 year old at 26 an 18 year old should probably seem like a person to you we complied we sat on the couch and answered questions about each other drinking a bunch and the older guy sat right next to me while playing this is george i, I assume my nerves for excitement as i had never been around such a big creator before I remember getting drunker and drunker and really tired around this time. It was about 3 a.m. Right before the incident, I had answered a question about my age. We were playing a drinking game and talking about <coughs> sex. And I admitted to everyone in the room that I was 18 and that I was a virgin at the time. I remember back now to him answering questions during the game about back when he was 19 and when he was in college, noticing how my future was his past. And I wondered how he felt sitting so close to me. It was a little after that when I had resorted to playing games on my phone when hmm. it happened. What, is it, what, nowhere, what does that I mean? Felt... My future was his past. So she's just commenting on the fact there's like an age gap. I don't know. That kind of sounds like she's... Why is it poetic? Yeah, it is. She did kind of say it like a poem. There is kind of a weird implication there, <laughs> I would say. I felt him slip his hand under my clothes, sitting next to me on the couch in front of everyone. <laughs> He disguised it with a simple, are you ticklish? I coughed out a no, still under my clothes, sitting next, sitting so close to me. It was a little after that, when I had resorted <coughs> to playing games on my phone when it happened. Out of nowhere, I felt him slip his hand under my clothes, sitting next to me on the couch, in front of everyone. Uh, he disguised it with a simple, are you ticklish? <laughs> Tickle monster. <laughs> dude. Don't, 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 stop with the tickle, like, no tickle monster, dude. You guys are funny, okay? Obama, thank you, Obama. I coughed out a no. Obama's got the jokes tonight. At my phone. I was overly aware of the fact that we were in front of other people. The fact that everyone else was sitting around us, watching us, including my best friend, and that his hand was inching further to places I hadn't <coughs> asked for it to be. He made a game out of my embarrassment where he would touch me in certain areas to make me lose the phone game I was playing. I was scared and I felt sick either from the alcohol or from his touch it didn't matter because my mind was a blur i didn't seek or move i remember being afraid to even breathe i stayed there for a while hoping my stillness could make me disappear i eventually had to stand up after many minutes for it to stop i was scared to leave or make a scene out of the okay so the allegation now we know we've done some investigating after 10 minutes of watching this video it's not an it's not a rape allegation it's basically a assault allegation uh he went tickle monster mode on her legs when she didn't want it uh without consent basically um and that's why so many people are saying silence is not a yes <laughs> That's why they're saying that. The embarrassment. Eventually, later in the night, I found myself alone with him and his friend. Everyone else either passed out or sick. I dread the scenarios that could have played out that night. The what ifs. I was just so naive. And lucky or not, the night came to an end with just that. The night lasted until 6 a.m. I was still drunk, either <laughs> from alcohol or tiredness. I went to leave, and the older guy decided to leave with me. We walked to the elevators, where I didn't get on. He then pretended that the elevator was broken and that he couldn't leave, telling me to get in the elevator to prove it was broken. And then after a few minutes, he ended the night with a guess I'm going now, leaving with a wounded puppy look. Mm -hmm. Puppy goaded. He proceeded to Instagram message me for a bit after that, simple flirting or asking about the con next convention I was going to, saying stuff about seeing me there. Simple messages <laughs> ultimately filtered into nothing. Well, apparently he thought she wanted it for some reason.
not saying that I'm not saying that silence is consent, but it's uh <laughs> it's possible. If he messaged her after the fact, clearly he didn't even think he did anything wrong, you know. Because if he thought he was guilty, why would he message her again, right? <laughs> At the time of it all, I convinced myself I was lucky. I was lucky that that had happened to me. I was excited to be around such big creators, to be at that convention in general. I figured that's just how things were, that that was the price I had to pay to be there, that anyone would have loved to be in my position, and that I should have appreciated it. Jeez. Well, that's dark. It was a first that night. It was the first time anyone had ever touched me. <laughs> I assured myself that I was just being sensitive about it all, that it wasn't a big deal, but assuring only can go so far. I felt dirty in a way that I couldn't wash off. I couldn't help the way that my body reacted. That's just this all confirmed or just allegations? <laughs> allegations. Um, I mean, the strongest thing she has going for her right now, I would say, is that her friends are supporting her, which... I'm not saying that means she told the truth because really what I would like to see would be another person who was there at the same time in this room because she says there were other people around. What I would like to see to confirm this would be someone else who was in that room confirms what happened. That would be a big deal independently of her, right? That would be a big deal. Um, right now, all you have is this guy who I presume was not there. <laughs> I don't know that he wasn't there, but I presume he wasn't. He says, rotten hell. I saw how you ruined my friend's life. Nobody should feel sympathy in whatever lies you're going to spout with your stupid PR team backing you, you buffoon. I wish you and your little freak friends who are complacent and abuse the worst lives ever. You're all horrible and your content sucks. So very strong, uh, very strong messaging here. OMFG, George not found, just called me and told me all the evidence he has to defend himself. Here it is. I don't know. <laughs> there is, is another girl. Where is uh, that girl? Can I see that? What is her at or whatever? The fans always seem to know in these communities who it was like here i mean this person uh made a thread they were able to pretty quickly figure out who it was everyone seemingly can just figure it out instantly these people uh okay what was what was this girl what was this other girl she's puppy slash kate and said that dream was there in the same room the same night she's the one who was romantically talking to dream puppy we okay let's see if i can find this oh wait this girl where is her post or whatever I'm pretty sure uh, this girl's twin dates the Sinatra guy or whatever. Yeah, this is like an OnlyFans girl, bruh. Oh my God. Okay, to be to be clear, I'm I'm not gonna pull up anything <laughs> not safe for work, but we're we're talking about this individual, right? Where is this person's statement? <laughs> this individual. I'm not saying anything. Awuga, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know she's hot. Okay. When's the Wilbur IRL vid? <laughs> Where's her allegation? She needs to be baptized. But by what? She was talking to Dream, apparently. So you're saying there's a chance. Where is the, um, where's the allegation, though, from this other girl? I can't find it. Part of me still wanted to feel cool about it all, to convince myself I was lucky so I didn't have to think about it. I would reimagine the scenario in my head, replaying it again and again. <sighs> what I could have done, what I could have said instead. It didn't matter. None of it did because he never asked and that fact would never change no matter how hard I thought about it. <laughs> I changed after that. I believed life wasn't fair. I was naive and maybe sometimes to a fault, but I could only wish it lasted longer. Look, my, my biggest problem with these situations is I feel like there's only <laughs> there's only two sides you can take. It's either believe everything the victim says completely or she's a f liar. And the truth is usually like neither of those. <laughs> In rare cases, like with quite, we have crazy liar. In cases like with Lion Maker, we have, he's completely guilty. But cases like that that are that cut and dry are so rare. And that's why it pisses me off in the same way that it pisses me off when I see people saying, believe all victims. They're all, they're, you know, it doesn't matter if they have evidence. Like in the same way that, that pisses me off, <coughs> it pisses me off when I see the other side, which is this like brain rot commentary that's like lying bitch. You don't know that she lied. It's like insufferable. Innocent until proven guilty. I agree completely. I agree. Innocent until proven guilty. But that also goes for this girl. Like the burden of proof is on her. Yes. But also I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just going to call her a liar. Okay. Like that is. Miss not knowing. I used to be kind. Where is the other angry. girl's statement? I can't, I can't find out. it. Uh, or maybe this other, this account somebody told me to look at. What was it again? I got distracted by who knows, who knows what I could have been distracted by. Based. Um, <coughs> kitty bugs. Maple. Here we go. This person. I can't find it. I don't know. We have this tweet, which is not that girl, I don't think. So thank you, Saab, for becoming a member. Dream was gooning in the corner with only a mask on, yelling, don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me! <laughs> um, and this is Katie's best friend. The story is about George. <coughs> Support all victims. Katie deserves to be heard and supported. 
This man needs to be deplatformed immediately. This is the Bob we're watching, okay, right? Okay, George not found, you will f rot. Here's the context. Take this how you will. I will not be tweeting until further notice. Ghosty. Is Ghosty the... Hold on. But Ghosty is a different person than this Winnie person, so I just don't understand. Who is Ghosty? So because Katie's best friend said that it's real, then it is. Was she there or was she not there? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that in the video she said that this person was there. <coughs> yeah, she is. This person is liking a lot of tweets. Just because someone didn't explicitly say no will never mean they said yes. Just because you had a drink doesn't give you a reason to act like you own someone's body. When will people get this in their dim skulls? Silence is not a yes. Silence is not consent. It never will be consent. <sighs> I just don't get why they all jumped down his throat when they weren't there. Imagine trying to deplatform someone who hasn't responded yet. I mean, yeah, that's why the, the Minecraft community is so f***ing insufferable. Even if she's telling the truth, the community is just impossible to deal with. Impossible to even interact with. Are you going to stream you watching George's stream later tonight? Of course. Oh, of course. Person, at myself, the content's my friend. The fact that a year later, I can feel my heartbeat stop at the sight of him. And he probably couldn't even make out my face in a crowd. <coughs> I can't stop thinking about who I was before it all. Who I'll never be again. And how some things you can't undo no matter how hard you try. I never said Beyond reason to vote out equals criminal standard. Balance of probability equals civil standard. Well, we're not in either course today. We're in the court of public opinion where none of that matters, really. <laughs> what actually matters is just believe all victims. Which, I mean, to be clear, I'm not saying we shouldn't believe her. I just wish people wouldn't jump down his throat and at least wait for him to respond. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I would just like to see... His response. I just want people to wait for his response to see if he has anything. Because she didn't She didn't have, I mean, in this video, I assume she doesn't have a shred of evidence. You can listen to her. You can, you can, I'm not saying you have to call her a liar, but just like be cautious. That's all. That's all I'm saying. But I realize now that I don't. <sighs> the script is a little too dramatic. I mean, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. She's 18. 18 year olds are dramatic. She's saying she was sexually assaulted. Sexual assault is dramatic, so. I don't know if you want to call that playing devil's advocate like I guess I'm doing that a little bit but I think being hurt makes you weak I think it's strong to feel things that have hurt you and then to still choose to feel nonetheless I was scared to speak out because I thought she said herself she thought it was lucky it happened to her well I mean that was early on <laughs> because she was just happy to be around famous youtubers and then her claim is that she realized what happened to her if you're gonna make arguments against her at least be honest with it that's all I'm saying my fault and that I didn't deserve to I was scared of him and all of those who surrounded him <laughs> I was scared of his power. I was scared I was mistaken, remembering wrong. I hoped I was remembering wrong. I was scared to go to any more convention on the chance that I'd see him again. I never thought I'd be strong enough to talk about it or for what may follow. I'm haunted by him everywhere. In usernames, profile pictures, in my own past. I lost the passion I once had for content. For anything really. The association never went away. The crying is really fake. Why is it fake? It doesn't seem fake. It seems like she's actually crying. I don't know. Am I am I a simp for thinking that <laughs> it seems like it's real crying? All the years I spent creating this community felt like a way. I will say, I mean, maybe it's not full on crying because she's not making an ugly face, but like, I don't think it's, she's reading a script. Yeah, she typed it out beforehand. Do you see tears? I mean, it's a low quality video. I, didn't even I feel like I did see some. Actually, yeah. Well, Her eyes definitely look watery. I never asked for. I can't help but feel angrier all the time. Seeing the love I had once had. Empathy for women makes you gay. For creation before it Lol. happened. Face. I tried to forget it all and ignore it. You can see tears on her face. Resurfaced as, resurfaced as a fresh cut. I remember a moment around October where I made a comment about a certain group abusing power over minors in their DMs, saying they had minors in their DMs. It was an <laughs> absent minded comment and I apologize for it. Before. Not gonna lie, I kind of want these allegations to be true because I want to dunk on George. I hate when jo I hate George. He always annoyed me when I saw clips. His screaming makes me go crazy. Well, this YouTuber is annoying. So I'm glad that the girl got sexually assaulted. Like, <laughs> shut up, dude. It was a possible subconscious jab out of my own personal resentment. My comments filled with people saying that I didn't care about grooming victims and that I thought assault was a joke. And I remember sitting there reading the comments, <sighs> scrolling over <coughs> and over again, heart beating faster. Over half of the comments had him as their profile picture. <laughs> I just wanted to die. I was embarrassed of myself and I was angry. And I wondered if I could ever find- Wasn't George the guy who made fun of his own friend dying from cancer when his dad was on the stream? I mean, if you're referring to Technoblade, yeah, but I don't think it's anyone's right to tell him not to do that. If the dad isn't upset about that, which he doesn't seem to be, like, whatever. Like, if you have a up sense of humor. If I die of cancer, I hope my friends make jokes about me getting cancer. I think that's funny. 
It's not your place to say that. Damn, it's an Anza member for 13 months. The goat. The idea of will I ever heal. Tickler scary. son or biting daughter. <laughs> I was tired of withholding my story to protect myself. I had spent so long convincing myself it was my fault or that I was just a coward. I just wanted to disappear, but I didn't because I realized that this is a problem bigger than me. It may sound dramatic, but it's how I felt for over a year. I feel everything very strongly and I don't want that to change. It was a big deal to me and I spent too much time downplaying my own experiences <coughs> and I still do. I'm still trying to realize that it's okay. My story is about power and age and consent. It I don't think it's really about age. It pisses me off that they can hide <coughs> behind their power while victims are left helpless. No like you weren't, you weren't groomed, you know? You were an adult legally. No matter what scenario, it pisses me off that he thought he had the right to do what he did, that he did it even in my silence. Okay, it's real crying. It's real crying. Can we, can we just say this now? Fake AF, you're ret It looks real to me. <laughs> it discredits the story when she brings up age. I mean, it, it partially discredits the story, but it doesn't mean she's lying. The other stuff could still be true. <laughs> My biggest fears about speaking out. It's not grooming, but what she's accusing him of is still really bad. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is definitely me before frontal lobe development. <laughs> With you guys, I wanted to keep my community safe from what may follow. And also, most importantly, from the ugly truth of life. I promised with you guys to be open and honest all the time. I know, but I didn't want to break up what we had. I wanted to stay strong for you guys. I didn't want this to define me or my community or all we've worked for. I didn't want it to all be <coughs> overshadowed by one event. So besides Wilbur leaving her and Soot, do you think you're going to make a video on the sweet baby ink stuff? Probably. Once again, at some point, this isn't about me. This isn't about drama. This is about <coughs> everyone who's watching that is like me. Trust but verify. You can feel for this them, but not raise a pitchfork. Yes, I agree, Rogue Roger. Canceling. This is about real people's lives. I live this every night and every morning. With every touch, I feel I relive that room. It's about connections. One of my best friends, Rue and I, have bonded over similar experiences. I'm sure there's many others like us. Rue. So who's the guy in that situation? Because next, Rue is going to speak out, right? I assume. I'm lucky enough to be surrounded by friends who support me. Without them, I wouldn't be <coughs> half as strong. And I wouldn't be here saying all this. You don't have to believe me or my story. Because I know the truth. And so does he. <laughs> he knows. And I have creators and friends that also know. And some who were there. <sighs> I hope the ones that were there talk about it. Because like I said, that would be huge. That would be huge. If multiple people in a room independently verify that this is exactly what happened, <laughs> it might be game over in the public eye for George, you know. Uh, I guess you could say they're all lying. Maybe. Maybe. But maybe not. I don't know. You know, I I, I know people are thirsty to... Uh... <sighs> people are simultaneously thirsty for me to condemn this girl and call her a liar, cloud chaser. And then there's also, you know, a smaller portion of the audience, but they exist, that want me to just completely condemn George. And um, I just, I don't know what happened because I wasn't there. I'm not them. If these allegations are true, do you think Wilbur or George's will be taken worse? I don't think it will really matter. I think uh, the Minecraft community is going to treat them basically the same, which is that they should be destroyed off the internet, you know? This is about realization. Keep sitting on that fence. I will. I'm proud of my fence sitting. I'm proud. I was once a viewer and now I'm a creator. I spent so long looking up to creators that I didn't know who I had never met, aspiring to be a part of a behind the scenes that I didn't understand yet. Sometimes I wish back to when I was unknowingly looking from the outside. Shelby and Wilbur are pretty convincing considering she never dropped a name. <laughs> Then Wilbur admitted to abusing an ex of his a few days later. I mean, he didn't admit to abusing her. He admitted to being a bad boyfriend. He didn't admit for, sorry, he did not admit to um, abuse. He denied that. To be clear, Briz. <coughs> Does this $2 give me a toast spread? Yeah, sure. I now have a ruined perception, or rather a truthful one. In this community, a lot of us are told to remain silent and to bite our tongues. And those who speak out against it are often isolated. Who said Who said this? Who is saying this? Who are these people? The Minecraft community ostensibly is one of the most like progressive leaning on the internet, right? Everybody's like pro trans rights, pro whatever, believe all victims. Who is saying this? Are they saying just like, don't rock the boat, it's not worth it? 
because you're going to get harassed or something? Like, what, what What are they saying? I don't know. I'm inclined to believe her, but I think she's got to say something if you're getting unconsensually touched. <laughs> Georgia socially retired thing she was interested after this if true you know what shrek fan i would agree with that i think if you're being touched by someone and you don't like it you should say i don't like that that being said if george kept messaging her that's crazy it's wrong it's all wrong but most and most importantly this is about my story and the stories of all the other people who have mcyt twitter and mcyt in general is just brain rot a lot of estrogen flowing i'll say that been silenced whether it's by their own fear she said she gave how... consent in her own words where does she say that the point is that she didn't give consent <laughs> By this idea that it's not significant enough because if it's affected you it's significant enough this is also about all the asexual people out there who are surrounded by a world where you're wanted for your body i grew tired of not okay just because you feel a certain way about something does not mean that your interpretation is valid that's not true feelings can be more extreme than what actually happened people can have misunderstandings of situations people can misremember things so that's not that's just not true i'm sorry sorry i just gooned but what's this chick crying about i actually like that lego piece on your head thank you um She's crying about uh, George not found. She says that he assaulted her. It's possible he kept messaging her to make it seem like what he did was normal. It's possible. Not being able to speak out about my own story. And if it wasn't for Shelby, Tom I would have never Sheldon. realized my Based, silence dude. was bringing me everything. Uh, the Hadron Collider. I experienced firsthand what the power of speaking out can do to a person. I hope this can be of some help to... Is she alleging he her? No, she's alleging that he... Uh, he, he put his hands up her skirt and tickled her a little bit, basically, right? You were <coughs> like me, too, because we aren't defined by what has happened to us. I want to remind you all that it's also okay if you don't speak out because you don't owe anybody anything. It's your story. It's your story to tell, and it's yours to heal from, and it's only yours. Sometimes the most healing treatment in the world is simply realizing... Oiled upstream when? Super soon. ...that you're not Super alone soon, in dude. your own experiences. Um... <sighs> <laughs> she needs some raising canes. And True. <laughs> that will make everything a little better. A diary entry I wrote around the time because I feel it was more fresh and this may help <coughs> people who it's still fresh for them. Or it also just may be clearer to how I was feeling um, because I wrote it <coughs> in my diary, obviously. This isn't really poetic. It's not poetic at all, actually. So this George guy, his channel's still doing well. One day I had a... Well, it is. His channel's doing crazy when he posts, which is never what is he doing is this guy stream is that, is that what this thing is sure it's not found streams let's see this <coughs> it looks like he kind of streams sometimes like an hour what's going on this guy even posts really interesting thought what would it be like to wake up inside of minecraft but british he's guilty i thought what would it be like to actually live in minecraft so in this video for 50 hours straight, which is 150 Minecraft days, I'm gonna live every second of my life inside virtual reality Minecraft. I'm gonna have to do everything from eating, drinking, and even sleeping without ever seeing the real world. This look at this building. I had to like look straight up to see the top of it. He left me alone, so I was able to- There it is. It rises. Very useful for your fight against the dragon. Okay, where are you gonna build it? Uh Philza, this guy was one of the people that spoke out against uh, Wilbur Soot. You guys may remember. Huh. Very curious. Heard his voice immediately guilty. It's quite up. <laughs> Around half a year ago, I was sexually assaulted by someone eight years older than me. A black and gray striped long sleeve, Nike shorts, Calvin Klein sports bra. That's what I was wearing. That outfit, it stained on me. They knew that I was freshly 18, and they also knew I was very drunk. Bogger maxing, but don't know anyone else that would somehow you... <laughs> Bogger maxing? What is it? You mean booger? I second guess myself all the time. Remember? Without leaving to the real world, he's just doing a challenge with what his entire audience does daily. Yeah, he's really catering to the terminally online folks out there. The non-binary terminally online folks in his audience who are uh, <coughs> estrogen maxing. I'm bringing back. Was he drunk too when he slipped his hand under my shirt in front of everyone in the room? Oh, slipped his hand under her shirt. Not very skibbity, is it? Drunkness that whispered to me as an unwelcome warmth that prickled along my neck. Or was it rather this fake intoxication that allowed it to stay there as I sat silently, unmoving? At the beginning, I began to sympathize with him. I technically never said no, I suppose. And I never said yes. Time froze. Cookie Bear, why do Minecraft YouTubers always have so much drama? Also, can I wriggle in your walls? Okay. <sighs> the reason why Minecraft YouTubers have so much drama is, number one, they get famous really young. That's a huge one. <laughs> when you get famous young, 
your worst mistakes are going to be everywhere because nobody can shut up and keep things private. That's the first thing. Secondly, in any group of, I don't know, famous people, if you have 100 famous people, chances are uh, five of them are... Actually, chances are... Okay, the, ma <laughs> the majority of like Minecraft YouTubers are not getting pussy, okay? That's one. They're not getting pussy in high school, okay? And so as a result, when they get a little bit of an audience, they get a little bit overzealous, and they're willing to take anyone who will go, at, who will go with them, right? That's part of it. Then there's like a smaller problem of like actual like files, okay? Like all of these things just conflate and it's all made much, much more uh, toxic and crazy by the fact that the audience is so parasocial. Minecraft YouTube audiences are so parasocial. They are in love with these people. They follow every second of them. And so that just makes it so much more intense when it comes out because like the audience is almost more offended than this girl is, right? Because she had an interaction with George Not Found. They watch this content every day and they, it, they lose their minds because they're nine years old. And the only thing they know, the only thing they know is Minecraft YouTube videos. They don't have real life responsibilities yet. So it's like an affront to God when they find out that something happened, right? Why well, she's talking like it's a poem or something? I mean, it's a diary entry, but I mean, she's a very, I think it's, fa it's, it's fair to say she's somewhat, you know, of a dramatic person. Not saying she's lying, but she words things like she's in a Hallmark movie, you know? I'm just saying, have a good night. The stuff isn't very interesting to me. I'm gonna go watch the Giggly Goon Clown Files. Good luck. <laughs> But just because she's being dramatic doesn't mean she's lying, to be clear. Just because she words things dramatically. I mean, in fairness, like, I don't know, sexual assault is kind of dramatic. Maybe I thought I could turn invisible if I was still. Maybe. It didn't have to be real then. I had just met him. I should have been more grateful. Maybe I still had some hope in the world. Maybe I just haven't met the world yet. You're lucky to be next to him. So many people would have traded me places. I wonder how many have. I remembered his age. I wondered where I would be at 26. I blamed myself for all the things I could have done. I really did. I convinced myself I was lucky. I let half a year pass, wondering why it's now that I still cry myself to sleep imagining it. Why it's now that no matter how many times I wash, I still feel dirty. Why is it that to him I'm a fake memory, but he haunts mine? It's not fair. I was kind in this world and it was not fair to me. I stay up cursing it. Power. He has so much more than- You don't gotta write it this way. I'm sorry. Look, if you're watching this, uh, Katie Bugs, listen, I don't not believe you. Uh, a little more evidence would be nice, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think you're a liar, but just, you don't gotta- I get that what happened is dramatic, but like, I don't know. <laughs> Cursing the world. Come on. ...than me. Protection. It's unfair. It's unfair he can do that, and it's unsafe for me to talk about it. Why in <coughs> order to have a peace of mind do I have to threaten all I've worked for? I've never been one to be bold, so why do I have to feel guilty for staying silent? I feel weak for what happened to me and even weaker for not yelling it out from hiding from it. I don't want attention. I want to disappear. I wish I never had to be seen again. And as soon as I do speak out- Every mistake an MCYT or does are blown out of proportion by the Phantom, so every real problem is assumed to be little, which results in extreme sides. That's true, yeah. Out of it, I'm seen different. Speak out about it, I'm seen different. I'm seen as a person with a body that can be used and used in bad ways. In reality, <coughs> I never wanted it. I'm painted a victim of a crime that I never chose. And what happens when it's all I'm- What happens when it's all I'm seen as? What do I do? then when half an echo on while half echo on about proof or disbelief the other half will pity me looking at me like i'm wounded prey when do i get my dignity back when i watched it be ripped from me when i was too young to recognize it what oh god <laughs> I don't want to be the brave one, but I will. What are consequences to someone who has no conscience? I'll never find the peace. I can't get it out of my head. Will I learn to live with the pain I face? How does one accept peace on their own terms? Is one just defined by what's been done to them? All right, I'd say we probably don't need to watch the rest of this. It's kind of a uh, nothing, uh, but we got the allegation. Okay, so the allegation that Katie Bugs is making about George not found is that at a convention, being I think VidCon, <laughs> She went to a hotel room with him and there were people there hanging out. Multiple people were multiple people were around. She was very drunk and he put his hand <coughs> up her shirt unconsensually. She never said she liked that. That's that's the allegation. Um, I don't know if that's real, but that is the allegation. Uh, a lot of people are talking about it. They're going to be talking about it. George is uh, already being ratioed on Twitter, despite the fact there's no proof. Silence is not a yes. I want to clarify I'm a direct victim of him and his disgusting behaviors. I will speak on it in more detail when I feel ready to. There's so much to be said. I need to gather my thoughts and feelings first because they're flying everywhere. She must be talking about uh, Wilbur's soot, right? I've bottled up so much for so long I have decided to take absolutely zero prisoners. It's like Doom. She's like Doom guy. <laughs> I'm so angry. I'm so hurt. I will not be kind. Dude, hold on. If this is a serious allegation, I'm going to feel bad about this later, but <laughs> this just reads crazy. I, uh, wouldn't it be common sense for an 18-year-old not be at a party with older people and alcohol clearly present? Um, 
I guess. I don't know. It happens. When I was 18, I drank at parties, you know? I mean, it's kind of a liability, I guess. But I feel like it's not that big of a deal. I was drinking when I was 18. Not like a ton. I'm not like an alcoholic, but I drank. Him being 26 is kind of like, bro, I don't know. What's going on, big guy? What's going on? It's common sense not to, but not an 18-year-old's mind. Okay, well, here is... um. Part of the problem that you're going to encounter with YouTube. YouTube is hard to compare to a normal social setting because uh, it's a place where on the internet, in the cyber world, everybody is kind of treated on a level playing field, okay? So someone like me is treated with the same seriousness as someone who is 40 years old, okay? We all have a say and they're not diminished because of lack of experience. In fact, sometimes it helps to be younger because you're more relatable to the audience. And so as a result, when these people converge in real life, these issues can present themselves in different ways, right? When I go to VidCon, I am 21. Some of my YouTube friends are 23, 24, 25, 30, right? They're not weird or creepy people for hanging out with me because we are friends. There's nothing wrong with that, right? It's not like we're bonded because they're trying to prey on me. We're friends because we do YouTube. Now, some problems can present themselves with that dynamic sometimes. I've never encountered that. I personally never have. But like, would you guys, like you, when, when someone says like, oh, it's weird that she's even around him. Would you guys say that it's weird that I at 18 years old was like, I met, I met Justin Wang in person. Like, am I, is he weird for meeting me? Obviously not. No, he's almost 40. Is he weird for meeting me and hanging out? No, he's not. The problem is if there's like predatory behavior, right? Which I have never, big shock. Justin Wang didn't try to put it in. <laughs> Um, did he tickle you? He did tickle me. He's the tickle monster. Uh, but, but like, you see what I'm saying? Like it's a case by case basis thing. There can be problems with it, but like YouTube is a unique, is unique in the way that these kinds of, uh, these kinds of interactions between older and younger people that wouldn't happen in a typical setting can take place. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. The problem comes if something really bad happens, <laughs> which I mean, in this case, I don't know. Sounds like some dude was being a silly Billy. If he reached under her shirt randomly, definitely a silly Billy moment. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, like, people are, people always say, like, why does this always happen to YouTubers? Like, stuff like this happens at, like, high school parties, too. When I was in high school, I had a, uh, one of the teams I was on for sports, which wasn't, didn't last that long, surprisingly, the captain. I later heard rumors that he, was like, roofied girls. I don't know if that's true, but, like, there's rumors that float around in, like, real life, too. On YouTube, it's just, like, blasted into the stratosphere. I'm only human, after all, don't put the blame on me. Don't put the blame on me. Did he go coochie coochie coo when he tickled you? No, he said coochie coochie coo. That's what he said. <laughs> Skelly Giant said, I don't know. Do you hear what she was wearing? Sounded like she was asking for it. Should have been drinking and partying with older adults. I hope this is ironic. <laughs> the literal, the, I didn't think this was a real person. You must be joking, Skella Giant. I didn't think there was a literal, like, look at what she was wearing person. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Did the second girl have proofs? Uh, no, she didn't have proofs. Turkey Tom verdict is, I'm in the middle on this one for now, Zima Nitro. I'm in the middle. Who knows? I'm sort of about to take off like a bird of some kind, maybe. I'm sort of about to fly. Why is your voice so high pitched? It's not normally. I'm like, <laughs> I was like sick last week and it hasn't really gone away. Probably because I kept smoking cigarettes despite the fact I was sick and I kept going to the gym. So I just like, I'm just not going to recover, maybe. Would you prefer if I talk like this? Hello, Skibbity. Hello, Mr. Skibbity. Someone just sent me a picture of one of my buddies. <laughs> I guess he's watching my stream in his car. Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! <laughs> Shout out the goat. I don't know if I should say your name. Shout out the goat, though. I'm related. What's your favorite MSI song? Mm, the one that's like, never wanted to dance with nobody like do 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 That one. <laughs> that one's fire. I will donate one of my lungs for you. Thank you. You ain't messing with the weed. I don't smoke weed. The weed allegations are untrue. Ugh. All right, has George responded yet? Jesus. George. George, when are you going to respond to the allegations? Oh, Georgie. Georgie, I'm home. Have you responded to the allegations yet? Twitch. <coughs> he has not responded yet. Okay. 13 days ago, last time he was live. I brought this up earlier, the audio, but I didn't really talk about it. This clip of, uh, what's his name? Nicholas Cantu is circulating because he, like, um... It's of him in the in the car in the Uber when he was talking to Dream, like cussing him out or whatever. This video. What did I cover? What am I doing? What dude, your I sexual doing? assault cover up. What did I cover? Oh, I covered up what? Who was what, it? What are you Who talking was it? about? Was it Sap? Actually, talking about George not found, but uh, huh? Maybe you got a smart moment, maybe. But it seems like it seems like there's something going on here. No. Feel silly. 
Don't do. you feel stupid? I do. Don't you feel a little ashamed? I honestly do. To be honest with you, I honestly do. He's talking about Manage Read? Oh, yeah. But why would he confuse Manage Read for Sapnap? I feel like confusing Sapnap for George Not Found is way more <coughs> easy than confusing Manage Read for any of them. <coughs> Manage Read was also accused of... Uh, his police report was for, like, domestic violence or something. What is that with George Not Found? <coughs> I can't I can't go over it all again, but it's interesting. I started HRT to figure things out, not because I had figured things out, which is, I'd say, uncommon. Even when I was taking it, I did know that, like, if this is something I want to continue with, at some point, I'm going to be just seen as a woman. So I was always sort of trying to make peace with it. And that <coughs> has become more and more fine, like, over time, being perceived as a woman. Because for a while, I didn't really want that. For, like, a few months, I didn't really want that. Now I kind of aim for it a little bit. Why is this my recommended? <laughs> Why is this my recommended? I click one video, and now I'm seeing what I eat in a day. Dark. This is dark. This sucks. Can you watch Rat Lobber instead? I don't really have anything to say about Rat Lobber videos, to be honest with you. I've seen so many of these videos in my recommended, just videos of guys in their car crying. Why is this a trend now? It's like it's like a video that will be titled like, I'm 25 and I'm still a virgin. I'm 28 and I have no friends. I'm not saying you can't make the videos, but like, I'm seeing so many of them I recommended. This guy is pretty funny. Horse meat. He's pretty goaded. One video can destroy recommended. It seems that way. I'm 21 and I'm still a virgin. That's probably fine. I think people have this, people have this impression. People who haven't had sex, had sex, have this impression, especially guys who are like a little bit late. They have this impression that like, oh, once I have sex, like my whole life's just going to be fine. It's going to change or whatever. Or like, it's just this goal in your mind. And like, you don't realize that like you f and then you're just kind of the same. Nothing changes. You still, if you suck, you still suck after you have sex. So it's like, I don't know. Not that like having sex isn't cool or like important, I guess, to general happiness. Intimacy is probably important, but it doesn't, I don't know. I wouldn't be that worried about it. I would say, um... You know, everyone says this, but uh, the first person you do it with, you're gonna you're gonna remember that <laughs> forever. So try to make it an okay one. That's what I would say about that. I'm 15 with no girlfriend, dude. It's over. It's over for you, dude. Just give up. You're you're a wizard, dude. It's over for you. You can never come back from this. <laughs> it's completely over. Is there even any evidence for any wrongdoing by Wilbur Sutt, or is this a dream situation again? As of now, it is a. I don't know. I mean, when you say dream situation, you ask me to compare it to that, like, the instant comparison people are going to make is like, oh, well, if you call it a dream situation, that means it's a false allegation, right? Maybe you could compare it to, like, early on the dream situation when things were more up in the air and we didn't know, yet everyone was saying that George was guilty or Wilbur's guilty. I feel like at this point with Wilbur, um, I'm not going to say that I'm leaning towards him being guilty. What I will say is that his lack of response is extremely harmful. At this, and like, I don't know if he could even come back from it at this point. With George not found, he could still come back. He could be fine. Um, He could be totally fine. If if he makes a good response but he has to like his one response has to be really good and if it's not he's gonna get torn apart because people are waiting people are waiting for him to be guilty as of now it's not like it's a ton of huge creators who are calling him out it's it's really just this girl <coughs> a bunch of dream smp fans and some of her friends right so until basically what what the huge creators do that know him is they wait for his response right they wait for him to respond with wilbur he posts his response they all dogpile him immediately they're currently waiting with bated breath to see how george will respond based on his tweet he said that he would he'd never sexually assaulted anyone. So if his video doesn't disprove that, he's gonna have a really rough he's gonna have a really rough life, I would say. Like he's not gonna have a good time, I would say. Basically. Um, yeah. I don't know how that's gonna go. <sighs> How's he supposed to disprove it? Well, if he finds her contradicting her statement about what happened, I mean that's one thing, right? I mean, additionally, a, just a, a convincing testimony on its own can be enough. Like right now, she doesn't have any proof it happened apart from her saying it happened, right? If he makes a very convincing like rebuttal and manages to make her look um, not good, if he manages to hurt her credibility, make her look like a liar, let's say she's lied about other creators, let's say stuff like that. And this is all hypothetical. I'm not saying she did this. I'm just saying if you want to play, if you want to play his advocate, that's what he's going to be looking to do. Discredit her discredit her friends, make her look psychotic. Maybe if she is psychotic, you know, make her look psychotic, show that, right? <coughs> so that's basically the MO at this point, right? He's 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 on the defense he, and he's honestly on the losing side right now just because of the way that the, that community works. So it's really going to depend on how he responds, how this goes. Um, I don't think she, I don't, to be, to, to be honest, like it's very possible she's telling the truth, but I just don't know. 
I just don't know. I, I need more information. All I have right now is her testimony, basically, and then him saying, <coughs> I didn't do it. I'm going to respond in detail. Like, that's that's all I've heard. So from that perspective, like, I feel like I just need more information, you know? I feel like I do. I honestly think it's kind of an uphill battle for him. I think he's going to need more than she has. I think he's going to need a lot of receipts and stuff, which she doesn't, she didn't need because she's making the allegations. So people don't expect that from the Minecraft community, right? Like, they don't need proof. But as far as, but as far as him, they, they are going to, they're going to want, like, the highest burden of evidence possible. And even that might not be enough for him. Put up a studio gorilla. What the f is that? What am I looking for? Um, Ian Kemp. What am I looking for here? What do you think of short fat otaku? I've seen some of his videos and I think I like him. <laughs> Seems like a nice dude. Can we start a daylight savings countdown? <laughs> When is daylight savings? The second Sunday in March during the spring. <coughs> is the second Sunday this weekend? Um, so the second Sunday is gonna be, oh, it's today. Doesn't it already happen then? Oh, well, there you go. What is the countdown? You mean like when it switches again? <clears throat> you hear about the George not found? No, I have no idea what that is. <coughs> okay, I, I, I looked I, I looked up what, <coughs> what you said, Ian. This, most popular video. Why well, you should come to Bucharest. is this hold on quackity made a statement i want to watch this actually um hello this is about the qsm oh this is about wilbur maybe <laughs> Hope everyone is having a good night uh i'm doing an urgent stream only to keep everyone updated on everything that's happening uh i want to apologize for this scuff stream i'm not on any of my setups right now i wasn't expecting to stream right now so i don't even have a camera but i want to let everyone know that i've been out and i'm catching up on a lot of matters right now including a statement <laughs> that was just now made without my approval um i've been notified about an ongoing situation regarding quackity studios and i want to address it this is the thing where people are saying that Quackity's been like abusing his workers, right? I've seen, I've, I've seen this uh, QSMP drama. The drama was in regards to like the employees or something. There was drama around like his employees in like some weird country like Malaysia. You know what I mean? Omni did a breakdown, did he? I like Omni. Um, Quackity is in trouble. This Quackity is in trouble, right? What's up, guys? I'm Why are all the Minecraft guys in drama at the same time? Has all this just been building for a long time? Here we go. All right, Omni. Fill me in, buddy. Like this Friday. So, okay, a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about this situation that's been happening with Quackity, okay? Quackity is one of the biggest Minecraft YouTubers and creators in the entire freaking world. I don't trust any Minecraft YouTubers anymore. Two in one day. If I see Minecraft YouTubers, I assume they're on a registry. I mean, that's funny to say, but realistically, uh, there's, you realize Minecraft's like the most popular game in the world, right? Like, there's so many Minecraft YouTubers, like thousands, tens of thousands. How many actual Minecraft YouTubers? files are there like five maybe five assault cases maybe like 30 allegations or something i don't know like it's just it's it's ultimately a very small percentage whether wilbur's innocent or not his response was terrible it was pretty pretty donkey doo doo <coughs> absolutely large he created this whole thing this billions must allege true server where basically it was multilingual okay you can have people from different countries the drama is he didn't pay his jannies is that true different languages come into this minecraft server and he's creating a way for them to communicate with each other this man is doing crazy things with minecraft he might be like the mr beast of minecraft he's huge but apparently there's some issues going down that we're going to kind of look into right now a crash and a lot of you guys asked me to speak on this really fast said an issue within the QSMP where French admins came out to say that they aren't being paid and treated hard. French, French admins? I don't, like they mod, they moderate like the server. Like they, they just play Minecraft all day. I mean, he doesn't even speak French. He, he speaks English. So I assume it's kind of a hard thing to deal with, right? Can you really blame him that much? I mean, I know it's his operation, but he's running like a giant multi-million dollar business. I assume, I assume it's that big, right? Partially. Quackity putting out the statements to- He treats his German admins quite admirably. Yeah, it's a very strange thing I notice. Quackity's been talking a lot about this place called Dresden lately. He's, he recreated it actually and has been talking about it a lot in Minecraft. It's kind of strange. I, I, I don't really know what's going on. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's perplexing. This this Dresden place, I don't I'm, I don't know anything about it, but he's talking about it a lot, you know? Say he completely didn't know the details of the process of these admins working. Now a French labor union is involved. <laughs> well, they were French, so I mean, probably shouldn't have paid them anyway, right? What? But another link that you guys had sent me that said Quackity makes a statement about the people volunteering on the QSMP, saying that they were overworked and they weren't paid. They were volunteering? So they're volunteers? Unpaid volunteers. So didn't they sign up for that themselves? Like, I don't, I don't even understand. He kicks Wilbur suit out of the QSMP and Quackity says he will be bettering himself. Okay. Okay. What the hell is going on? I've, I Valid question. What the f is going on, Omni? I'm confused as to why this is even a... 
He didn't pay his Reddit mod, dude. Moderators should be unpaid. Moderators should be, uh... Moderators should be replaced by AI. They should be sucking on the boot of a police officer. I'm sorry. That's hyperbolic. <laughs> that's hyperbolic. That's copaganda. But uh, and it's just not that big of a deal. I don't know. Who cares? Oh, just, just cares. reading this sentence. It says, people volunteering on the QSMP, but then they weren't paid. I'm a little bit confused by that, right? What did I just say? This guy's a genius. Right, like, if you volunteer, that's... Literal black excellence right here. This guy's a genius. It's supposed to, you're supposed to be working for free. <laughs> <laughs> right? I can't go up there and do charity work and be like, yeah, where's my check? So I'm a little bit confused by this yeah. statement. Let me see what Quackity has to say. It's a problem. We are not being paid to moderate this server. It's, uh, uh, you know, quite bad. I mean, we did volunteer at the end of the day. However, we believe that we deserve some French money so we can buy a crepe and we can buy a cigarette and we can just chill out when we play a Minecraft. You know, Mojang does not pay us. Quackity does not pay us. Wilbur Suit is biting the French women. He is biting them very hard. He is, he is getting his teeth in. It is quite disgusting and it bothers me. And I hope that it never happens again. Wilbur suit being removed from the QSMP. That guy got completely removed from the internet. He misgift faces mods. Well, he probably should. Has not responded back to the accusations. And even since then, Shovel, the girl who called him out, provided more evidence and receipts saying like, hey, this is what you did. And there's many, many people coming out and kind Not exactly. I mean, didn't provide any evidence or receipts, but she did provide a long statement. So there's that. And like being like, yes, he's a bad dude. So I think he's just gone, gone. Hope everyone. Yeah, he probably is gone, gone. So we got the quackity statement. Please bear with me as I'm barely catching up on a lot of these <clears throat> matters. Uh, what I'm gathering is that volunteers for quackity. Was he really good friends with Wilbur Soot? I don't really know. Were they good buddies? Uh, looks like they did a bunch of content together. Um, hello everyone. I feel like quackity swag. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like he has swag. Maybe it's just nostalgia. I don't really watch his current stuff, but I like old Quackity videos. I feel like he was pretty goaded when I was in high school. So, um, let me give you like what's it uh, like? What's it like being out there? You know? And yeah, yeah, yeah. That just that sounds like me as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's uh it's like uh it's like a big big um. Try any Brazilian candy. Hilarious, bro. That's not Brazilian candy. Okay, that's Mexican sorry. candy. Is it, is it, is it? Well, both of them. Do you think he bit Quackity? I wonder if Quackity tastes good. That's my big question. On God. Studios are not being paid and are being given too many hours of activities. Uh, I want to let everyone know that I was aware of a voluntary position and I was under the assumption that there was a process volunteers would go through. What do people like Wilbur? I mean, Wilbur said, I remember when he blew up on the Soot House channel and that was like when they were just reading Reddit videos, right? That was a big deal. And then he was kind of one of the only people from Soot House that really went on to like do their own thing. I wonder if Soot House has made a statement about it. <laughs> They're not even really around though, are they? Schlatt was like collabing with them. Carson. This is like back in like the Carson Schlatt. Uh, what was the guy with the mask? Sorrow TV. All these guys are blown up off reading Reddit stuff. And not a lot of these people really transitioned into much. This guy hasn't even posted since he barely posted at all. Dan. Soot Dan. He hasn't posted since 2022. Matt. <laughs> Like, all these guys just basically left the internet. Wilbur Sid, however, went on to become extremely famous. And he's also in a band called Lovejoy, which is a big, like... I mean, if you look up Lovejoy on YouTube, you can see, like, millions of views on all these songs, right? I mean, he had songs like this that blew up. He's got sort of an Ohio-type complex thing going on. Yeah, I've met Jared. Of course I've met Jared. The one who took you away from me. I mean, he was seen as like a very like soft, you know, uh, women don't owe you. I respect women type guy, like not a political content creator, but just like, you know, a very soft and nice guy. And so when fans hear that he could have been mean to a girlfriend, whether or not the allegations are completely true, a lot of them will just drop him right off the bat if they found out he's mean to a girl, right? Like bottom line, that's it. Um, because he presents himself in a certain way, right? And people have this parasocial attachment to him. Now, whether or not they want to stop watching him is like, it's it's really up to them. Uh, but they have a different standard you got to understand than like our community or something, right? In our community, like if you guys found out that Chud Logic was mean to a girl, okay? You wouldn't be that mad. You would be like, whatever. Based even, you'd say. I'm not talking about the sexual assault stuff because if people found out Chud sexually assaulted someone and it was dead to rights, they would stop watching him. And this is just hypothetical, by the way. I'm not singling out Chud. He's just an example, right? Um... But in this community, he's so famous, he's so big. People have such a parasocial attachment to like, if he's a good person or not. So when they find this out, they're kind of mad. Creators keep doing this thing where they build a public image of themselves as kind of opposite of how they are in private. And once they're out of it, something is kind of a double whammy. That's yeah, a bad idea. But so that's why like, like if people found out Quackity did a similar thing, minus the sexual assault, if they just found out he was like mean to a girl, they would like hate him. To integrate themselves to the team. They have a very clean image. Uh, with a fully paying job. 
Uh, what I was not aware of is to what extent and conditions uh, were being required from the volunteers. <coughs> and I want to thank everyone who brought this to my attention because it is very clear to me that I need a much deeper involvement in the administrative part of my team, something I have not been very involved with recently. I'm going to perform a deep investigation personally. Like imagine you said you gooned, but in reality you were edging the whole time. I mean, literally. On this map, If you build your career on gooning and people find out you edge, it's kind of over. Better. Which, is just, why, which is why, like... Which is why I try to wear like my, you know, my flaws, which I do have on a sleeve. Right. Because like if people like then found out like it would be over, you know, like imagine if I like hid my sense of humor and then people found out about it. Right. And I had like this kind of audience, like it would just be to see exactly what's happening. Being mean and emotional abuse are completely different. I agree. They are completely different, but I don't think that they're seen as that different in the eyes of like the Minecraft stand base or whatever. Right. But one thing is very clear to me. There are going to be very drastic changes in QSMP moving forward from the administrative perspective and from the creative perspective. Like the haircut. Yeah. I mean, unironically, like if Wilbur Soot got this haircut, like people would be mad. <laughs> His fans want to stop watching him. As well. My responsibility relies on knowing what is happening in the project I am running and for not being more involved i want to deeply apologize this should have never happened uh G george is not streamed that i've seen i gotta get some water i haven't seen any stream from george yet it'll probably it probably won't come till tomorrow at this point i'm not even convinced there will be a stream i think he'll probably end up doing a video if he's got his head screwed on straight uh that would be the best way to respond i think whatever his response is it has to be really good you know it has to be like really really good like better than like quite response like better than any response ever <laughs> and i'm extremely disappointed from here on out, I want to make one thing clear. Everybody involved in Quackity Studios will be- If you guys keep doing the towers, I'm going to start banning you. This is your final warning. We're on we're on YouTube. People have been punished in their chat before, so I'm going to start uh, putting, the, putting the clamp down. Be paid. And if at any point my own funds are not sufficient enough to pay workers or maintain the project, then the QSMP cannot continue and it will close down. That's how committed I am to this project. So I want to make that extremely, extremely clear as to where I stand on this. And this next topic is very <laughs> difficult for me to process. And it's an extremely sensitive thing. And I was waiting for the correct time. Hey Tom, always good to see you live. Have to say seeing you on Unsubbed was awesome. Keep up the good work. Six months and no regrets looking. Thank you for being a member, bro. <laughs> I just recorded new members only, by the way. It, it is coming. The the editors have been overworked, though. So they they're, they need, like, you know, a day off because they've been going hard in the paint. Um, but it'll be coming next week. I've been uh, <laughs> I've been ab I've been been abusing the editing team a little. So they, they, they've got to take a little break. But they'll be back. Time for me. But that can wait no longer. And I need to let everyone know that Wilbur is no longer a part of the QSMP. I mean, from a business perspective, you can't really blame him. <sighs> from a friendship perspective, maybe you can, but... <sighs> I don't know. Wilbur didn't do himself any favors. My guess is George was searching for evidence but couldn't find anything concrete in time. Also, the fact the actual assault was probably not recorded, so I don't know what kind of response he'll make. I mean, the only thing he could do is try to, like, tell his side if he thinks that he's in the right and, like, show her, like, contradicting herself or something. That's the best he can do at this point, I think. Uh, lastly, I want to thank everyone for their patience. All right, I think we've got, a, we've got his reply. I'm curious what... Tommy in it, I guess, made a video about uh, about Wilbur, I assume. Hello, I'm about to leave. Uh, leaving because I'm going to this setting or a worse week. The stage, and before I knew it, I was back in my full form. And the rehearsals went amazingly. Oh, he hasn't. This isn't even about it. Is so. This is, is this isn't even isn't even about Wilbur Soot, is it? Only Wilbur stuff I'm seeing is in the comment section. I did. Uh, I got in some major shit with people on Twitter. I don't know if it's even worth going over at this point, but. This guy on Twitter, uh, what's his name? Oh yeah, this guy. So this guy made this tweet basically saying like, uh, victim comes forward with evidence or something. And then like 300 pound commentary YouTuber says like, oh, I think she's lying. And he got a bunch of likes. So I was like, what the f are you talking about? Like you didn't even watch my video. You're just engagement baiting, you f loser. Like literally. And then I responded and I was like, I said, why is it none of these people can watch the video? I never called Shelby a liar, nor do I think she is one. I just said, well, she said it wasn't consensual. He said it was. I don't know what to think. And then I said, if you don't like that, I do not instantly believe her. Just say that instead of creating these imaginary things you wish I said so you can have epic Twitter own. Because, like, these people's impression of me is that I just, like, called her a liar. Like, that's what they want to believe also so they can get, like, an epic Twitter own, which honestly is a disservice to the victims. It just spreads misinformation. Like, you're using sexual, you're using someone's sexual assault and, like, the story around it for Twitter clout. And then he just, he just blocked me. He was like, okay, loser. And then this person said, as someone who's unfortunately been in several Turkey Tom videos, I think if you're genuinely recommending him, you should be laughed off the internet. He's consistently horrible to victims and tends to side with abusers. Now, I don't know what this person was talking about. 
specifically. And the only example they brought up was the, the person from the Chipple Dipple video who is not a victim. NES cartridges or whatever, uh, Nessie, you guys remember this? The like fat furry person. And this video is extremely hard to refute. Like this is 38 minutes of just like what happened in order of me going over what happened with Chipple Dipple in that situation. Like you can't, you can't really refute this. I challenge anyone who wants to, to just like make a video where you disagree. Like tell me how I'm wrong. The video is like, I'm sorry to say, it's like it's, it's a well-researched video. Like I did my due diligence. The video has everything that you could possibly want in it. And then when the docs someone, right? She didn't dox anyone, <laughs> but like, and that's the example this person brought up. I said, what abuser did I side with? And they said, are you searching your name? And I was just like, can you just answer the question? And then they just, they turned off replies. He name searched the tweet. First of all, I didn't name search the tweet. I got it sent to me. And even if I did, in what way does that invalidate what I said? Like you're talking to me publicly. You're claiming that I tend to side with abusers. So what, what <laughs> horrible to victims sides with abusers. What does that mean? I've made an entire series on my channel called losers, creeps, pedos, the degenerates, where I make it about the freaks. I have single-handedly, I'm sorry to like, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but like, I'm the only person that covered the giggly goon clown on a large scale. I am. I like to make videos about these freaks and like tell people about them. There probably has been some case in the past, like years ago, where I sided with an abuser as like a young teenager. Like there probably is an example of that. I, I can't think of any right now, but it, it probably happened at some point. I probably said something on Twitter. It's not completely unlikely, but like, I like to think that I try to do my due diligence these days with like doing the best work I possibly can. And this isn't to say like, you can't criticize me for this old example if it does exist. Like you can, but just name it, like bring it up instead of talking to me and then turning off replies. These people are insufferable. They also brought up the pyro stuff. In that case, if you want to make the if you want to make the argument that I was wrong in that situation, I didn't side with an abuser. Is the abuser Ivory Rasmus, the like teenager that he sent furry porn? I don't think Pyro Cynical is a pedophile. I think he's just like a degenerate porn addicted freak, which he said in his video. But if he doesn't do that again, like what am I supposed to say about it? Like I'm not he didn't groom anyone really. I'm not gonna say I handled that situation perfectly because I because I didn't. But realistically, like this person is just pulling shit out of their ass. I've been in several Turkey Tom videos. I don't even know who you are. How are you in several of my videos? Who the f are you? I don't even know you, little bro. But whatever. People people just say shit. My name is uh, a convenient one to shit on. I don't know exactly why. Maybe because I'm corny. You know, maybe because I I'm a, I mean I'm I'm edgy. Like I can't I can't deny that. I don't think I'm racist. But like if you want to you know call me like I, I that pisses me off way less than this saying I am consistently horrible to victims. What victim am I consistently horrible to? Please tell me. But the but the, the, the real thing here is like, there's this collection of people that have slowly gotten pissed off at me because I've covered things in a way that they don't like. With whatever the truth may be of the situation, because I'm, I think I like to think I'm usually right, typically. But whatever the truth is, they don't, they don't really care. It just pisses them off the way I covered it because it didn't cater to their preconceived notion of what they want the truth to be. Like, I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. I'm sorry that you were wrong. That sucks for you. It's not my problem. So why do, you, why do you have to just like lie about me on Twitter? I don't understand. And ultimately these people don't really matter. Like what actually matters is like YouTube. These people are like Twitter losers who are like baiting for engagement and they often, you know, they often get it. To their credit, they get it. There's an audience of people who like likes this stuff. I'm not saying I'm like a perfect angel, but if you want to, if you want to like, if you want to like, you know, metaphorically swing at me, at least, at least have a little, a little bit of power behind it. You know what I mean? Like just a little, that's all I'm asking. At least give me something to respond to instead of just like, he did this thing. Are you name searching? Maybe. Can you tell me why I'm wrong? Can you tell me why you're right? No, then just off. How about that prick's face when he saw the gat? To be clear, I'm not like a mar- I'm not like some like martyr, like based epic warrior. Like I'm just making YouTube videos. But like if you if, I, if you think I did something wrong, like at least substantiate it with something, you know? Like these people piss me off way more than like that subreddit that's constantly posting like when to go hung out with known racist turkey time like what these people are just whatever like i can't change those people's minds you know what i mean but these people like they're just lying they're just outright lying it's a, it's beyond bad faith it's like i'd say borderline borderline slander but they'll never be specific about it not not that i want to sue these people not that i i don't it's like whatever it doesn't really matter but still you're a centrist so you get it from both sides i mean i feel, i mean i guess i'm a the centrist is like I feel like it's valid to be a centrist when you don't have evidence or you don't know everything, right? Like, I feel, I think that's completely valid. I feel like that's actually the right thing to do rather than like come out on one side and be like, Shelby's a lying bitch, blah, 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 blah. Or come out on the other side and be like, victims never lie, support. Like, I would rather be like, this is what people said. I don't really know what the f happened. I'm just making YouTube videos about it. Like, is that, is that not okay? And be sure to become a member for $5 a month. They get the members only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. Yeah.